Absolutely, because what you're describing is that that interpreter can experience some vicarious trauma, what we call mm -hmm. vicarious trauma, by taking on some of that experience of the patient if, if there's a stressful situation and they're mm -hmm. interpreting in the first person. So That's they're right. incorporating That's some right. of that language and yeah. it, it can feel like it's coming mm -hmm. from themselves in addition to the fact that the interpreter may have themselves experienced trauma. Exactly. Is that, um, let's talk about that for a moment, what, what vicarious trauma means and how an individual will feel or what signs somebody should look for in themselves to mm. realize that maybe they are um, experiencing a stress reaction. Yeah. In the moment, you may find that you zone out. You can't really concentrate. You lost a chunk of the language that's going by because you're someplace else. You may feel your heartbeat speeding up. You may feel sweaty. You may feel a generalized anxiety that you can't, it feels like it just landed on you and you don't know where it came from. You may feel dry in the mouth. You may feel an intense desire to be any place else but in this room right now. You may feel parts of your body go numb. Or, so that's in the moment. And of course, there are many more. And those of you in this audience could come up with a bigger list. But then over time, there's loss of sleep, difficulties with appetite, either binging or not really being interested in food, changes in sexuality. Maybe you don't have any libido left, or maybe you go obsessively to sex to kind of release some of this anguish. Many, or, or burnout, you know, you don't, don't wanna go into the office, don't wanna do another one of these, don't actually wanna fill out the paperwork. It's all the avoidance ways of dealing with it. 